Hey editors, if you are facing a problem like when you are adding a high quality video to DaVinci Resolve timeline, the viewer show you a poor quality less video output. Sometimes the deliver videos also. Don't worry, you are not alone and today I will show you how to clear this problem. Before that, once again welcome back to Dark Cool VFX Studio. When you are editing inside the DaVinci Resolve or DaVinci Resolve Studio, what you are seeing in the timeline is often a preview not a full quality version of your video clip. DaVinci does this on purpose to make playback smoother, especially on the slower machines. Sometimes you shooted a video in 4K resolution and you created a HD timeline in DaVinci Resolve. In this case, you lost your video quality. Now I am going to tell you how to solve these problems. Let's learn how to create an accurate timeline for your video. First. Add your camera footage to media pool. Now double click on the video and go to inspector. Here we can see an option file. Click that. Here you can see the resolution, the frame rate and the codec of your video. In this case the video is shooted with 4K resolution 29.9 frame per second. Almost 30 frame per second. Sometimes the video not shooted in 4K. I will show you one more example. Click on the next video and go to file. Here we can see the video is shooted in HD with 30 frame. The Kodak is same H264. In your case, all the videos are shooted in the same device. Sometimes it's a camera or a phone. So the resolution and the frame rate should be same. The Kodak also. Now we can create a timeline for this video. To do that, go to media pool, here right click and Go to Timelines. Here we can see an option Create New Timeline. Command N or Ctrl N is the shortcut. Click that. Here uncheck this box for more settings. After unchecking, you get a new option Format. Come to Format. Here we can change the timeline resolution same as to this video. Change this to 4K or UHD. See the video clip and the timeline, those are same. After that, go to the timeline frame rate. Here we can see 29.970. Click that and choose the same. 29.97. Click that. That's enough. Now click on create. Now we can add the video to our timeline. By doing this, we can take the video out without losing even a single bit of clarity. After completed the editing, go to deliver page. Here we should confirm our Kodak. Our Kodak is H264. Now go to format and choose the correct format. The most compatible format is MP4. Or you can choose QuickTime that is MOV. That is much compatible for Apple devices. Now go to the resolution. Here we choose timeline resolution that means same as the video. Now. Go to the frame rate and choose the same frame rate as our timeline. Here I choose the option timeline frame rate. Now go to the quality and confirm that it's on automatic. If you are checked this restrictive, here as your value is decreases, the quality of the video also decreases. So you should confirm that the quality option on automatic. The first thing is over, now we can go to the second step. Before that you can subscribe our channel for more videos like this. And also you can like the video if you like. Now I am talking about the low quality of the video preview in timeline and the viewer. Go to the playback settings, click here and you can see an option timeline playback resolution. Confirm that the check is on full. If you select half or quarter, the video quality of the preview will be decreases. I mean, it's only effect on preview, it's not affected to final render out. After that, go to the proxy handling and confirm that the check is on prefer camera originals. You can also change the settings from here, go to viewer and here you can see an option HQ, click that and check the option prefer camera originals. By doing this, you will get a good quality preview on the viewer. Nothing to say more. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. See you in next time.